Nearly 3,400 years old, the bust of Queen Nefertiti is an icon of Egyptian history, but a victim of European colonization more than a century ago. It's currently far from home. Germany says the bust for the most beautiful Egyptian queen was obtained legally. Egyptian archaeologists disagree. They claim foul play and demand its swift return. After investigation, we learned that Nefertiti's bust left Egypt after it had been manipulated. Royal pieces were not allowed to leave Egypt, neither were limestone statues. Borchardt covered the statue with Gibson and covered the bust colors. So on paper, it's legal, but the manipulated design and description of the piece was the reason behind that. The unique piece of Queen Nefertiti is estimated to be worth 400 million euros. Her historical value, though, is priceless, with the bust reflecting the charm and beauty of one of the few female leaders in ancient times who is still sparking controversy. It has also revived debates about the number of treasured Egyptian antiquities the colonial powers got their hands on in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The number of Egyptian antiquities abroad is gigantic. The British Museum alone has 100,000 pieces. Most museums of the world have Egyptian antiquities. You'll find them in Berlin, Frankfurt, Manhattan, Torino and Boston. During that time, a museum would not have been considered international unless it obtained Egyptian treasures. Among the most demanded ancient Egyptian lyrics is the Rosetta Stone in the British Museum, the stone that helped decipher the hieroglyphics, the ancient Egyptian writings. And the statue of Hem Yul, the engineer who designed and built the Great Pyramid, is also in Germany. Both are unique items. Egypt's frustrations to bring Nefertiti's bust back were renewed when the Grand Egyptian Museum requested the ancient queen on loan for its special opening. But the newest museum rejected their approach. The campaign to bring her back, though, is through independent organizations who are seeking the government's support. Meanwhile, archaeologist Zehi Hawes, a key figure in the campaign, earlier told CGTN that he's working on an even bigger project. He's hunting what, if discovered, would be way more valuable than the bust, Nefertiti herself. September 1st, to continue our search in Saqqara to search for the new pyramid of Khuni and also to continue our excavation in the Golden City and the search for the tomb of Queen Nefertiti in the Valley of the Kings. Until then, Nefertiti's statue will remain iconic and unrivaled and for now, thousands of miles away from home. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.